Next on Henrico News, two groundbreakings. It really is a day of appreciation, a day of gratitude. <laughs> One ribbon cutting and a major announcement. An exciting new phase in the life of this historic property. We've got the scoop on what's making news across the county. Hello, I'm Kristen Smith. We're in the lobby of Henrico County's newest gem, the Fairfield Area Library. It just opened in October. This library is more than 44,000 square feet. It features massive windows, a cozy fireplace, and the latest technology. Oh, and there are books too, more than 54,000 options for avid readers. The new Fairfield Area Library is welcoming to all. It's a beautiful library. It was designed to be striking from both outside and in. If you're traveling on Laburnum from either direction, you can't miss it. When you walk in the front door, you see lots of natural light. It's a very spacious lobby. You get immediate orientation to the sections of the library. It's very modern. There's um, a lot of natural light and skylights. And you can even tell from the first floor what's happening on the second floor. The library has lots of amenities. We consider it to be a destination. There are 100 computers for the public, and historically the Fairfield Library had a lot of public computer use, so we're very excited about that. You'll see public computers dispersed throughout the building on both floors and in all the sections for teens, children, and adults, and they get a lot of use. We have a digital media lab, which allows people to create their own digital content. We have um, some special features in the new library, including a one-button studio. It's optimized for interviewing people. We have the second floor, which is for youth. We have many, many print books. We have digital content. We have full services at the new area library. A lot of the community feedback for the library was talking about how families can use the library. So we have a gorgeous, spacious um, children's section, and. We actually have some special computer, what we're calling work and play stations that allow a parent or caregiver to work, doing adult work, if you will, on an adult size PC with a little one right next door. It's been really fun um, sort of to watch people come in and, and look up and see the, the uplifting and light-filled design. We've had many comments um, about how beautiful the library is and how welcoming. There is a gorgeous slate fireplace um, in the adult reading room that people seem to really like with comfortable chairs. A wonderful feature that we have in this very, very modern library is some history. And um, it's displayed in a unique way, very dynamic, very modern. Um, it's called the Trailblazers Wall, and it's a five-panel display, and there are also some other digital displays throughout the library. It does have a certain um, magnificence to it, I mean, a certain monument, monumental scale, um, and that's important. I mean, the county has invested a tremendous amount of money here at this, this wide spot in, on the Burnham, right? With the rec center and the health department and Harvey Elementary down the road, and now the aquatic center and this, and this building. This is a, a major piece of a center of the community. In fact, we've had customers who have come in to say they didn't even know it was here, were driving on the Burnham and took a quick turn in because they were so struck by the building. And seeing that it's a library, then of course people want to explore and they're curious and um, that's exactly how we intended it to be. Beautiful from the outside and beautiful within. This $29 million library was funded through Henrico's 2016 bond referendum. Henrico leaders just broke ground on two other significant projects supported by the same referendum, new high schools in both the eastern and western parts of the county. It really is a day of appreciation, a day of gratitude. This moment marks the beginning of something wonderful and new. We are making what we believe to be a generational impact on public education here in Henrico County. It 
it is just tremendous uh, and it it just feels like the absolute right thing to do this is the site of the future highland springs high school and we are excited about that the project and the, the progress is real you can see it the new school will rise on this property just as the new J.R. Tucker High School takes shape um, in the west end of the county. These new buildings we believe will be beautiful, modern, state-of-the-art facilities for both our students and the staff that will work there. I am excited about what's happening today because I know that these facilities will deliver what we believe to be a brighter tomorrow. You know initially this was going to be a rebuild project and we were able to literally pull together every resource that we uh, that we have as a community and, and not just do Tucker but do Highland Springs and do them at the same time and ultimately ladies and gentlemen I believe that what we are doing here is transformational it is for the kids it is for the community and it really really feels good and I'm so proud to be um, part of a community and a team that comes together and puts young people in education first hey. One of the most gratifying moments of my career to see these two schools come out of the ground. And so we're committed to bringing this project to fruition. Can't wait till 21. Both new schools will open for the 2021-22 school year. Well, take a look behind me. This is the library's trailblazers wall. It highlights people who've made significant contributions to the history and culture of Henrico, Virginia, and the United States. Preserving the past is very much on the minds of county leaders who recently announced a plan to acquire the historic Wilton Farm property along the James River in Verina. going on 24 years as an employee with Henrico County and this is one I think it may be top one two highlights on a personal level. Today we are thrilled to announce an exciting new phase in the life of this historic property. One that we believe will benefit Henrico residents and preserve this property for years and generations to come. Henrico County is acquiring Wilton Farm at a cost of $10 million from H.H. H. Hunt. Verona we know is full of open space, full of history, and with the county's purchase of Wilton Farm, I believe we are adding to both. Henrico's investment in Wilton Farm speaks to the unique character of this county and this Board of Supervisors. About 20 miles to the west is one of the region's leading retail and commercial centers. A few miles to the east is one of the fastest growing data center hubs on the east coast. And on this site, we find a rural landscape that in many ways has evaded change over the centuries. On this beautiful property, there are two lakes, extensive frontage of the James River, wetlands and farmland. There are cultural resource sites that deserve, I believe, both study and interpretation. The recorded history of this property dates back to the earliest days of Henrico County. Clearly, there's a story to be told here and a tremendous natural resource to be preserved and enjoyed. There are nearly 1,200 acres, including about 550 acres that cannot be developed. 2.8 miles of frontage on the James River. Just think about that one aspect alone. 2.8 miles of river frontage that ultimately can become parkland that can be enjoyed by all of our residents. Possible uses could include a Henrico History Museum. A portion will be set aside for potential development by Henrico's EDA. And another section will be reserved for future use by Henrico Public Schools if needed. I anticipate a master planning process with a lot of public involvement, in particular from members of the Verona District community, to help the county determine the full potential of this property. If it's one thing that Henrico County understands, it is stewardship. This is truly an exciting day, both for the future of this property and for our entire county. Things like this 
when you're able to leave something for generations behind, that's what we're talking about. Not only is Wilton Farm a beautiful piece of land, it also has an extensive documented history with several areas potentially eligible for listing on the National Register for Historic Places. From the past to the future, Henrico is turning to the sun to conserve energy and cut costs. Solar panels just went up on the rooftops of two county buildings. We selected Libby Mill Library as one of our sites for a solar rooftop system because it's a fairly new building with a new roof that won't have to be replaced in the life of the panels. It's a LEED certified building, so it's already an energy efficient building. By using the system on this roof, we are expected to offset about 25% of this building's electricity use. We do not have to pay for the upfront cost of designing, installing, and then long-term maintaining these systems. That would be over a million dollars if we had purchased these systems outright. This is being done through a power purchase agreement with SunTribe Solar, and we are purchasing the renewable electricity from them at a lower rate than we are paying Dominion for those same kilowatt hours. This is a rooftop solar photovoltaic system that's going in on our brand new Mental Health and Developmental Services East Center. Henrico County has a very strong commitment to green building. All of our capital projects seek LEED certification. LEED is a green building standard. So this building has already been designed and constructed to be a green, sustainable, energy efficient building. And it just seemed a perfect candidate for us to pilot rooftop solar. Um, this is an up and coming technology that is really taking off here in Virginia. This building has a great wide open, nice flat roof, and it was just begging for some solar. Henrico's leadership in something like this is, is gonna help other, spur other people to be like, hey, this is actually a, a wise financial and, and stewardship of the environment. So it's really a win-win, and it's really great to see Henrico stepping forward. The Fairfield Area Library is on North Laburnum in an area known as the Laburnum Gateway, which also includes the Eastern Henrico Rec Center, the Health Department East Clinic, and the soon to open Henrico Aquatic Center. As part of the library project, a crosswalk with a traffic light has been added at Laburnum and Watts. Improving pedestrian safety is an important initiative in Henrico. In fact, the police department was just awarded grant money that will help officers make the roads safer for everyone. So recently, Henrico County Police was awarded the grant by the DMV Highway Safety Office. This grant is unique that it is focusing strictly on pedestrian and bicycle awareness and enforcement efforts that we're gonna put forward, not only for pedestrians and bicyclists that might not be abiding by the law, but it's also utilized for drivers of motor vehicles that might not be following the law as it pertains to um, how they should react around pedestrians. We have specific times and days of the week where we know our statistics show that we have a, an above average number of pedestrian or bicycle crashes. So those officers will focus on those, what we refer to as hotspot areas um, across the county. It does tie in with the Watch Your Step program that, that the county started because obviously there was a need to bring some type of education to the public about the safety of crossing street and uh, on our roadways as well. We just want people to be more careful, obviously, when they're in and around our roadways, and unfortunately, enforcement is a part of what we do. So we, we've been doing the education piece and our education side of this, and now we'll just, just kind of go into the enforcement phase of it to, again, just try to bring light to the attention of what you need to do when you're in or around our uh, roadways. Police encourage drivers and pedestrians to be proactive when you're out on county roads. Stop at intersections, look both ways, and just be aware of what's going on around you. Everyone plays a part in making our streets safer. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Henrico News. Have a wonderful holiday season. We'll see you in 2020.